May 21st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Samuel chapter 22 from the Old Testament. David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord rescued him from the power of all his enemies, including Saul. He said, The Lord is my high ridge, my stronghold, my deliverer. My God is my rocky summit where I take shelter, my shield, the horn that saves me, my stronghold, my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I was delivered from my enemies. The waves of death engulfed me, the current of chaos overwhelmed me, the ropes of Sheol tightened around me, the snares of death trapped me. In my distress I called to the Lord, I called to my God. From his heavenly temple he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. The earth heaved and shook, the foundations of the sky trembled. They heaved because he was angry. Smoke ascended from his nose, fire devoured as it came from his mouth. He hurled down fiery coals. He made the sky sink as he descended. A thick cloud was under his feet. He mounted a winged angel and flew. He glided on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness in thick rain clouds. From the brightness in front of him came coals of fire. The Lord thundered from the sky. The Sovereign One shouted loudly. He shot arrows and scattered them, lightning, and routed them. The depths of the sea were exposed. The inner regions of the world were uncovered by the Lord's battle cry, by the powerful breath from his nose. He reached down from above and grabbed me. He pulled me from the surging water. He rescued me from my strong enemy, from those who hate me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in my day of calamity, but the Lord helped me. He brought me out into a wide open place. He delivered me because he was pleased with me. The Lord repaid me for my godly deeds. He rewarded my blameless behavior. For I have obeyed the Lord's commands. I have not rebelled against my God. For I am aware of all his regulations, and I do not reject his rules. I was blameless before him. I kept myself from sinning. The Lord rewarded me for my godly deeds. He took notice of my blameless behavior. You prove to be loyal to one who is faithful. You prove to be trustworthy to one who is innocent. You prove to be reliable to one who is blameless. But you prove to be deceptive to one who is perverse. You deliver oppressed people, but you watch the proud and bring them down. Indeed, you are my lamp, Lord. The Lord illumines the darkness around me. Indeed, with your help, I can charge against an army. By my God's power, I can jump over a wall. The one true God acts in a faithful manner. The Lord's promise is reliable. He is a shield to all who take shelter in him. Indeed, who is God besides the Lord? Who is a protector besides our God? The one true God is my mighty refuge. He removes the obstacles in my way. He gives me the agility of a deer. He enables me to negotiate the rugged terrain. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend even the strongest bow. You give me your protective shield. Your willingness to help enables me to prevail. You widen my path. My feet do not slip. I chase my enemies and destroy them. I do not turn back until I wipe them out. I wipe them out and beat them to death. They cannot get up. They fall at my feet. You give me strength for battle. You make my foes kneel before me. You make my enemies retreat. I destroy those who hate me. They cry out, but there is no one to help them. They cry out to the Lord, but he does not answer them. I grind them as fine as the dust of the ground. I crush them and stomp on them like clay in the streets. You rescue me from a hostile army. You preserve me as a leader of nations. People over whom I have no authority are now my subjects. Foreigners are powerless before me. When they hear of my exploits, they submit to me. Foreigners lose their courage. They shake with fear as they leave their strongholds. The Lord is alive. My protector is praiseworthy. The God who delivers me is exalted as king. The one true God completely vindicates me. He makes nations submit to me. 
He delivers me from my enemies. You snatch me away from those who attack me. You rescue me from violent men. So I will give you thanks, O Lord, before the nations. I will sing praises to you. He gives his chosen king magnificent victories. He is faithful to his chosen ruler, to David and to his descendants forever. God, I pray that for all of our victories, whether they be small or gigantic, not sure if any of us will ever become king of countries, but gigantic, that no matter what it is, that we will remember who gave us that blessing, who gave us that promotion, who gave us that bonus, who gave us uh, that amazing friendship that came into our lives, that job opportunity, that whatever it is that is important to us, that we will stop and recognize your authority and your grace and your mercy and just the amazing way that you take care of us. Here's David, huge king, a lot of people looking up to him, probably had a bit of an ego, I suspect, um, but even in the middle of all of this, he praises you, he gives you the thanks, and he says, I want to tell the nations about how glorious you are, God. God, I just pray that we always remember to turn and tell the nations about how glorious you have been to all of us. That you provided food today, that you provided shelter today. And if that's what we can remember as blessings today, then that is awesome. Maybe we got home safely from a trip. Maybe there was a, a surprise package waiting for us, something we weren't expecting, uh, but that came in the mail. Whatever it is, you are praiseworthy. And all praise and glory should be yours, not ours. Should be yours for now and forever. In your son's name I pray. Amen.